show every Friday from 8 to 10. You are tuned in to Keys to the Street Radio. <laughs> Chopping it up before we even start. It was needed chopping up, and we did it. Like, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving and Christmas. Like, everyone ate until their stomach was content. They felt like a turkey. Let me move this over here so we can get both of us. I hope everyone felt like a turkey eating so much food, being stuffed and pluffed. And for Christmas, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves with their loved ones, their close family and friends, and had a good time. I definitely did. I had a wonderful Christmas. I turned out with my family. I got gifts. My daughter had a wonderful Christmas, so that's like the most important thing to me. Yes. And Thanksgiving, I had hell of a lot of food. The food was popping. I went to like three different houses, and besides that, I had a party in my house, so we hey, turned out, me and my family, lit. we had a good time. And for New Year's, my family and I were doing it again. Oh, for New Year's, they're going to be there getting electric slide boogie on. Mm. Damn. Mm. That's what it's getting about, man. That's what it's definitely about. A lot of people's family aren't really close. Like, it has to be one person, I feel like, in your family that could be the glue. That just sticks to everybody. Yes. That can just touch everybody and bring them together. That's a fact. And at the end of the day, at that party, at that event, everyone would hash out how they feel and just forget about it. And then besides that, every family has, as I said, friends. Sometimes friends become family. Where you get five friends and they family come over, that's a party. Period. That's 100%. Period. Like, that's all party. Indeed. We lit. Indeed. Five or six people get a, get a, get a spades game together, but you can't get spades game because you... I must say, he, he said, I'm trying to play spades. Don't play like that. The kids playing Uno, we playing spades. All knives get checked at the door. He said automatically checked at the door. Oh, my God. My family, we, we, we're not trying to shoot anyone. I've seen people lose it off spades. Like, mm -mm. I said five books. Nigga, you only made two. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be playing spades then if they getting that aggressive. The fuck? I said shit. two and a possible, bitch. How was how was your Thanksgiving and Christmas? My shit was uh Thanksgiving was tiring. Okay. Christmas was good. Um what did I do? Watch some games. I'm disappointed my team lost. Uh and it was a great day. We wound up having a birthday party for one of our favorite artists. So shout out to Ruby, Big aka fat. Sweet and Sour. So she was so cute. She was doing like a thing, cotton, cotton candy, candy right? style. Yeah, like a whole you know what I mean? candy roll. Cotton she candy style. So that was definitely dope. That's and uh, a whole shout out fat. to, as a matter of fact, somebody who's at the party. He's on our live right now. Barnizel, you already know. I was chopping it up with my guy yesterday. So, um,. Uh, he's definitely, and he's gonna have music featured on our station too. So we had performances that definitely night. Don't. We had dances. Uh, Ruby performed. She also pulled out her inner Cardi B too. <laughs> so it was a. It was a lit night. say Platinum Booty was in the house. Oh, Platinum Booty. Oh yes, I'm sorry, man. And listen, booty. I ain't Platinum Booty came through. She was. She came crazy. Let me tell you the dance moves she was doing. All Ooh. I could think about was my hip. Yeah, I'm telling Ooh. you. Lord Jesus, the Jump. rolls, the splits, mm-mm, Jesus. That, that's the most flexible gal I know. For real. Let me tell you, she that's plays That's I tell no people, game. no matter how big or small you is, you can't tell me that you can't move. Because I know big girls or small girls that can move. That's a fact. Now, if you just tell me that your hip is fucked up or you just can't move like that, all right, I'll fuck with you. Hey, listen, I feel man. the same way. It ain't happening. Listen, I was in Bangor, Maine, all right? I'm dancing with a chick. I don't know where the fuck that is. That's way up there. See, that's way up there. On um, Bangor, Maine, and and they just came from I guess uh, there was a college game or something. She was an athlete, and my boy, we was all up in there. I had people from Minnesota, everywhere, and she said, "Hey, I want to dance." I'm like, "Yeah, let's go," because I just got there. I was a once I get on that dance floor, I'm gonna fuck. What's going on? We lit. <laughs> we lit. I say, as you should. So um, um, she's like, "Hey, I got a broken rotator cup." I was like, "Okay, where's it at? Right here." I said, yeah, right there. So I just I grabbed that side, made sure that side was up, and we just kept moving. <laughs> we kept moving. I'm like, mm -mm. dancing with a girl with a broken rotator cup. Let's get it. He said, I'm going to grab it and hold it up. That shit feel good. They ain't moving, right? I you know what I mean? We just lit. don't fall out on me. We just lit. We took the party outside. We, we, we was parking lot pimping. Like, we took... 
I bought a bottle of Belvedere from the liquor store. And we, we was outside, me and a little Dodge Neon. Had about six, looking like Fabio out there, had about six snowflakes. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> Hold on, she'll be right back. He don't have no fucking behavior. <laughs> none, none. What's, I tell you, I gotta write a memoir. I gotta write a book. <laughs> Niggas, <coughs> <coughs> Niggas be thinking I'll be out here capping just because I ain't had no camera with me. No. <coughs> he said I took her outside to do Nissan. I had about four or five bunnies with me. That's a fact. Me I fit I nine people in a Dodge Neon. We took we took our original snowflakes from some dudes in a Mercedes Benz from Boston. Fuck out of here. From New York, bitch. We was in the same hotel. We was on the same, because it's like a upstairs, you know, like a landing where you could walk and everybody goes. And we seen it. We were like, hey, what's up? The music was a little better. We like, yo, we about to go get lit to this, this club. It was like, we want to go. And left them niggas. Met us I right downstairs. Tight. 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 But they was pussy. But I'd have pulled my gun. Nigga, you ain't taking my hoe. Fuck out of here. Nah, close to the street with hoses. If a nigga take your bitch, he took your bitch. Yeah. Period. That's a whole fact, so I see they respected the game. We went to the club, we picked up about three or four more. And then we all got in the neon, got back. Um, we had laps on laps, we had girls sucking titties in the back seat. Everything. Got to the room, everybody just split up. Some niggas in the showers. Uh, we <coughs> doing that Mimi shit before Mimi. <coughs> Hold up. Y'all ain't give two of the girls to the guys you took the girls from? Wait, we ain't do what? Give two of the girls from the guys you took the girls from. You said, did we give them back? No, not give them. No. <coughs> Once we rolled out, that was it. <coughs> not give them back. <coughs> Just other two. Y'all had so much. No, we had enough. It was four of us. It was five of them. That means somebody, was, somebody extra was going to be eating pussy. And we found that out when they started sucking titties in the back. So it was nine of us in the neon. We came there, I think, with seven. It was seven or eight. I think either we picked up one. No, no, no. Seven. Because so it was four of us, and it was three of them. Then we picked up two more, so that made five. Now, females nowadays, please don't be so much trustworthy. <laughs> Don't. We love you. Listen, don't you know the ratio to men to women? There's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Do you know how many missing people are out there? It's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. So with that being said, I tell my females, don't be a clout chaser for mm. certain things. Be a groupie for certain things. That's a you whole thing. You probably fact. feel like this person is doing good for themselves. They're very popular. So I'm going to fuck with them. Mm -hmm. But you don't really want to fuck with them. Think to yourself, why? Why do I want to fuck with them? Usually it's because you want to be with them so you can be seen and become more popular. Right. But here's the twist. Here's the hag. That person could be mentally unstable and be fucking crazy. Yeah. And be beating the shit out of you, choking the shit out of you, doing mad crazy shit to you. Crazy shit. But you didn't know that because you felt like I wanted to be with him. And even still, when he does shit like that to you and show you his true him, you still want to be with him. Just like men with females. Same thing. So don't let me not get it fucked up. Because you got